Today we're looking at the free version of ChatGPT to see if it can help you solve any computer problems you might come across. So let's jump straight into it. For the first question, I've typed out, I've deleted a photo on my Windows computer, but I didn't mean to delete it. How do I get my photo back? Just before we look at ChatGPT's response, the real answer to this question is to take a look in the recycle bin or see if Windows has automatically backed up the photo. If not, there are apps that can be used for free to recover deleted photos. Also, it's good to remind people that they might still have their own backup. For example, they might still have a photo on their phone, camera, a flash drive or backed up in the cloud. OK, so let's see what ChatGPT's answer is. ChatGPT says, if you accidentally delete a photo on your Windows computer, there are a few methods that you can try to recover it. Here's what you can do. Check the recycle bin, use file history or previous versions, try a file recovery software, and down here it recommends some file recovery apps. OK, so ChatGPT has done a good job answering the first question. I'll give it 9 out of 10 for this answer. I'll also be giving ChatGPT a final score towards the end of this video. Now let's go for a hardware question. For question number 2 I've typed, My desktop computer's keyboard isn't working. How do I resolve this issue? A few answers we're hoping to see from ChatGPT are to see if the keyboard's batteries need replacing, that is for wireless keyboards, or see if the keyboard's cable has fallen out, try restarting the computer, or try plugging the keyboard into another USB port. There are other things you can try, but let's see what ChatGPT gives us. ChatGPT says check the physical connections, and here it mentions about checking the batteries on a wireless keyboard. Try a different USB port. Restart your computer. Check for driver issues, and there's instructions on how to do that. Test the keyboard on another computer. Yes, it's good to test the keyboard on another computer if you can, and if the keyboard works on another computer, you then know the keyboard is not the problem. Use an alternative keyboard and check for hardware faults. OK, that's all very good. I think it would have been a nice added extra if it told us about the Windows on-screen keyboard. That can be used as a temporary measure when your keyboard isn't working. To use the on-screen keyboard in Windows 11, you simply click on the Start button, All Apps, Accessibility, on-screen keyboard, and here it is. This is also available on Windows 10. All in all, it does cover the main points to try, so I'll give ChatGPT 9 out of 10 for this answer. So for the third question, let's try giving ChatGPT a Windows settings question. Let's go with, how do I make my mouse pointer move faster on my Windows laptop? And let's go straight to its answer this time. OK, so it's telling us to go to the control panel, navigate to mouse properties, adjust the pointer speed, increase the pointer speed, apply the changes, test the new pointer speed, and there's an alternative way to do the whole thing. OK, so it gave us exactly what we needed. I can't fault chat GPT's instructions, so I'm going to have to give it 10 out of 10 this time. ChatGPT has a knowledge cutoff date of September 2021. So if we wanted to know something beyond this date, ChatGPT is unlikely to be able to help us. So with this in mind, for the fourth question, let's see what ChatGPT says when we ask, when was NVIDIA RTX 4080 graphics card released? The answer we're looking for is November 2022. So let's see how ChatGPT responds. ChatGPT answers, as of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, there has been no official release or announcement regarding the NVIDIA RTX 4080 graphics card. The information at the time suggests that the RTX 3000 series, including the RTX 3080, RTX 3070 and RTX 3060, were the most recent graphics cards released by NVIDIA. 
So it has given us some information, but ultimately it couldn't tell us when the RTX 4080 was released. But a quick Google search for NVIDIA RTX 4080 release date gives us the answer straight away. So I think I'll have to award ChatGPT only 2 out of 10 for its answer this time. So for the fifth question, we won't ask ChatGPT a question that's beyond its knowledge cutoff date, but we will ask it a question that's quite difficult to answer. So let's see how it gets on with this question. This time I've typed in, I keep seeing a blue screen of death appear on my computer screen. What is causing this? In case you didn't know, this is what a blue screen of death looks like. This can appear due to a hardware or software problem that Windows cannot work around. This is quite a difficult question to answer, as a blue screen of death can be caused by so many things. So let's see what ChatGPT's answer is. ChatGPT says, The blue screen of death is a critical error screen displayed by Windows when it encounters a system error that it cannot recover from. The causes of blue screen of death can vary, but here are some common reasons. Hardware issues, driver conflicts or outdated drivers, software or system conflicts, overheating, malware or viruses, hardware or system changes. To troubleshoot and resolve blue screen of death errors, you can try the following steps. Restart your computer, check hardware connections, update drivers, scan for malware, check for system updates, uninstall recently installed software, and check system temperatures. Well, I just feel like it's thrown everything at us. When it comes to blue screens of death, a better place to start is to think about what has changed, because recent changes to the computer are the most likely cause of a blue screen of death. So for example, if you've recently installed new hardware and now you're seeing a blue screen, try reinstalling the new hardware. If you've recently installed new software and now you're getting a blue screen, try updating the software. If you only get a blue screen of death when gaming, you could start by updating the graphics card driver. Giving people a good starting point can help to narrow down where the problem is coming from which can save many hours of troubleshooting. Also, ChatGPT didn't mention that on a blue screen of death, there will be a stop code. This stop code can be Googled, which will help to solve the problem that's causing the blue screen. ChatGPT's answer is correct, but it could have been much more helpful, so I'll give it 5 out of 10 for its answer. After asking those five initial questions, I went on to ask ChatGPT about another 10 questions, and it was doing quite well until I asked it this. How do you build a computer? There was no mention about installing a CPU cooler. This is obviously an important part of building a computer. It was a shame because ChatGPT was doing quite well answering my questions up until this point. I asked ChatGPT again for the second time, how do you build a computer? It did tell me to install a CPU cooler this time, but there was no mention of plugging in the front panel connectors. ChatGPT did say that this was just an overview, but it would have been nice to see it include all the vital steps, such as installing the front panel connectors. So ChatGPT gets a final overall score of 7 out of 10. Sometimes its answers were very good, but sometimes I felt it could have been more helpful. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my experience of using ChatGPT for solving computer problems. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.